great day and are doing well. Before I get into my obsession confessions, I just want to send warm thoughts to those that have been in the midst of this horrible rain. I do live in Texas in the Dallas area and it has been crazy with all the rain. Um, I also have family that lives in Houston. I grew up in Houston. So I just want to send warm thoughts um, to those that have been experiencing the warm rain and have been affected by it because it's been completely crazy so I just want you to know that you are in my thoughts and you're in my prayers and with that said let's get into my obsession confessions month of May did bring about one product that is my not so fave and that product is the steal it stay all day liquid lipstick um, it was the two shades in the summer collection. I had Almalfi and Bella. I did do a Smack Talking Saturday video on that that I will leave down below. Unfortunately, I did not like these. They were really flaky on my lips and didn't apply evenly. And they were just a big thumbs down for me. And I'm not saying that you won't like it. So if you're definitely interested in the summer collection, you should definitely try for yourself. But I had to be honest in my review and those products did not work for me. So they went back to Ulta. This product I want to share is it's not a fave and it's not a not so fave it's somewhere in between and that is the Kat Von D shade in light palette I bought this during this for a VIB sale I knew I had to have it along with another product that is one of my faves and it's just okay to me um it's a really great palette I love how let me show it to you how it breaks down um, you have your neutrals you have your cools you have your warm um, tone eyeshadows I really like that but I thought I would love it a lot more than I do so for me it's just an okay if I had to give it a grade I'd give it a B minus I mean it, it's not an awful palette I'm just not as in love with it as I thought I'd be. Um, I like my Lorac Unzip palette a lot better than this one. I mean, it, it's a good palette, but I'm not in love with it or it didn't excite me or meet the expectation I thought it would when I initially um, saw it on Instagram. I was like, ooh, I had to have it. Now I'm just like, you know what? I could live without this in my collection. It's, it's okay. Other product I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale and absolutely love, I think this could have been in my faves last month too, is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Blush Copper. It looks like this. I just can't say enough good things about this highlighter slash blush on my skin it's definitely a blush but it's like a blush and a highlighter in one stroke it just leaves this beautiful gleam on the cheeks it's beautiful packaging um deeper skins are definitely going to love this fair skins depending on i guess how you fare in tone will I think love this as well but it's just really really good perfect for summer um, I've been reaching for this like every single day I love this like I've been loving in the month of May comes from Laura Geller this is her baked shadow in the shade honey this is how it looks in its container and it is a beautiful shimmery eyeshadow now I was able to get this as part of a set that Ulta has if you check Ulta.com and click on Laura Geller you're gonna find a lot of different sets throughout the year that can really save you some big bucks and this shade is absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna swatch it for you so you can see it. You can also wet these big shadows, but you can wear this on your cheeks if you wanted to. You can wear it on your eyes, you can wet it. But isn't that gorgeous? Do you see how it's just capturing the light? So if you are new to Laura Geller or a Laura Geller fan, I highly recommend checking Ulta.com throughout the year just kind of you know whenever you're on Ulta check out her section because you can get really great deals this was part of a set that I paid no more than like 20 bucks for I know a lot of times during the holidays they will have a Laura Geller set so definitely keep your eyes out for that next item I'd like to share with you comes from Clinique and these are the Clinique pop lip color plus primer I have two shades punch pop and cherry pop I'm wearing punch pop throughout this video 
These are just really great creamy pigmented lipsticks and I find that they wear pretty nicely. One thing I really love about the Clinique brand is they're able to keep their prices reasonable even though they are a higher end brand. So these lipsticks are $18. They have them in nudes, pinks, oranges, reds, berries. So I think there's going to be something for everyone and they are so creamy and I really love how Clinique stepped it up with the packaging. So I have nothing but praises for this lipstick definitely feel like you should go out check these out go to your local clinique counter or sephora and i think you're definitely going to find a shade that works for you the last product that made my list of face for the month of may is from sephora this is the luster matte longwear lip color in fig it looks like this and i'm gonna swatch it for you um this kind of reminds me of my lolita shade it i won't say it's an exact dupe but there it is right there i feel like it's in the lolita family like maybe they're cousins maybe not twin sisters but cousins so i feel like if you like that shade you'll probably like this one too it's a pinky brown my lips but better shade and these luster mattes um don't dry down completely matte so it they have a nice shine to them so if you're someone that likes a shine to your lip products definitely check these out i believe they retail for 16 dollars, and they have lots of different shades to choose from but i have it in that shade fig and i just think it's a really great everyday color um, for me so it's one of those no-brainers and I do keep it out on my vanity that completes my obsession confessions for the month of May please let me know what you've been obsessing over down below give this video a big thumbs up comment and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Rocky underscore loves underscore MKP thank you so much for sharing a part of your day with me and I'll see you in my next video Mwah. I love y'all bye guys